Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Paul Sabulo. And I'm Gabby Bombalon. Today is Tuesday, October 26th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Come join us for our first History Day meeting this Thursday, October 28th, from 3.20 to 4.30 p.m. If you missed the information session, join the Google Classroom with a code shown to learn about the theme for this year. Attention all AP students. If you're planning on taking an AP exam, don't forget to join your AP classroom and pay for your AP test by November 1st. If you join or pay for it after that date, there's a $40 late fee. Come to Student Services if you have any questions. There is a fee waiver application available in Student Services as well, but you need to apply for that now in order to have enough time for it to be processed. Now let's pass it on to Dylan Josiah for sports. I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Josiah Edwards. Let's get into your sports update. Last Friday, our football team played a great game against Capital Christian, winning 24 to 21. Good job, boys. If we get this win this Friday against Elk Grove, we should be able to make the playoffs. Tonight, our, our women's volleyball team plays their first playoff game at 7 p.m. against Laguna Creek. Go get them, ladies. Yesterday capped off another exciting week of pro football with the Saints at the Seahawks. Yeah, and to be honest, it was kind of a boring game on both sides of the ball, but ultimately the Saints came down with a victory, 13 to 10. How'd you like the Eagles game? I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Derek Carr went for 31 of 34 passes for 323 yards. I still don't know why I support this team. Anyway, Jay Burrow and Jamal Chase um, had a spark on Sunday and flamed the Ravens 41 to 17. Sorry to any Niners fans, but they lost at home to Carson Wentz and the Colts 30 to 18. Yikes. Thanks for tuning in to your sports update. Back to the anchors. Thanks guys, the Sustainable Living and Biodiversity Club is hosting a thrift store to encourage our students in our community to shop sustainably during this Thursday's Fall Festival. Tickets are 50 cents each. Donations are welcome as well. There is a designated spot in the MP room, so come check it out. Come out and support our very own Color Guard team at Chipotle today from 5 to 9 p.m. You can order online using the code or order inside using the flyer. Speaking of food, let's check out this week's Cooking with a Pack. Hi guys, I'm Aurora. I'm Molly. And welcome to Cooking with the Pack. So today we made a simple pumpkin spice butt cake. We cut them in half and put them together with a simple buttercream. Then we're using that same buttercream to cover the butt cake just like so. You want to do a thick layer on this so that way you can spread it out and make divots like a pumpkin. And now Molly is going to show you how to make the divot. Okay, so this is our cake. It was in the fridge overnight to firm the buttercream. And then we're going to take wet, clean fingers and then sculpt out our cakes. So we just went like that, around. Then like this, we added a real pumpkin stem at the top, but you can add whatever green licorice or anything you find around the house. Oh, I've missed you already. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Paul Sabulo. And I'm Gabby Bombalon. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. See, See you at the, the rally, rally, Wolf Pack. pack.